Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a thriller horror film, Nyx. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The story starts with a recollection of the past of a family composed of three children named Jack, Lucas, and Tessa. They are all living together with their parents. Like a usual morning, the mother wakes up her children for breakfast and the children play after eating. While playing, Tessa tells her brother, Jack, that she had a nightmare. But before she can tell more about it, the mother informs them that they're leaving in 20 minutes, so Tessa and Jack get a hold of themselves to move and get ready. But before they leave, Tessa goes down to their basement to get the baseball equipment Jack had told her to get. While grabbing the equipment, she hears a loud bang, but pays no attention to it. Suddenly, a mysterious figure with a mask appears out of nowhere, scaring Tessa to web herself. However, the mysterious figure appears to be Jack. Later that day, the family goes camping in the Living Springs. Like a normal camping day, the family bonds with each other. The couple are taking care of the stuff and food, while their children are playing near the lake. Jack holds the camera to take a video of Lucas and Tessa playing. Suddenly, Lucas throws the ball into the lake out of anger, and then he orders Tessa to get it, as if she was the one who was at fault. Before eating, Jack suddenly discerns a figure behind the woods and tells his father. The father confronts the man behind the woods and turns back to tell his family that it was just some guy who's lost. After some moment, Lucas notices that Tessa is missing. They all try to call for her, but she gives no response, so the father goes to search for Tessa himself. On the other hand, Tessa runs towards the lake to get the ball that Lucas threw earlier. While reaching for the ball, a woman suddenly appears and tells her to get out of that place. Tessa ignores what the woman said and insists on getting the ball. But right then, a mysterious creature appears in the middle of the lake and grabs Tessa. The father tries to go for his daughter, but he hears Tessa shouting from a distance. When he reaches the lake, he seems to be in pain because he knows that her daughter is already dead. Moving on to the present time, Lucas is stuck in his messy room in her house, having a dream of his sister. Meanwhile, Jack works for an old cinema that is about to be bought. Moving back to the scene in their home, Lucas goes down to the basement to check their laundry. While checking, he perceives his siblings' voices coming from a door near the stairs. He stops for a moment to pay attention and sees the creature that appeared on the day they lost Tessa. Jack gets home with the food he bought and looks for Lucas, but he cannot find him anywhere. Meanwhile, Lucas is still in the basement. This time, he gets closer to the door to lick the slimy thing flowing out of it. Jack goes to the basement to check for his brother and finds him touching the leap that hasn't been fixed for six months. The next day, Jack goes to the school to congratulate his old girlfriend from high school, Liz, for becoming the vice principal. He also invites her to the event that's going to be celebrated at the family's house. On the other hand, Lucas wakes up on his bed and finds his mother in his old sister's room. The mother notices Lucas is at the door and says that she will let Zoe, Lucas' daughter, stay in Tessa's room until Tessa comes back. Meanwhile, Jack waits up in a parking lot to meet Luca's wife and pick up Zoe, his nephew. After some conversation, Jack and Zoe drive home to celebrate Tessa's eighth birthday. Inside the house, the family celebrates the birthday of the long-gone Tessa. Instead of feeling happy, Lucas and Jack seem to be in discomfort and appear to be dumbfounded during the celebration. Lucas cannot take it anymore, so he stands up and looks at his mother with a hideous stare. His mother gets angry, and so does Lucas. He is mad about the repeated celebration of Tessa's eighth birthday, as if it's the only thing that matters to his mother. Out of anger, Lucas throws the cake to the side, turning the celebration day into a chaotic one. After their fight, Lucas goes to his room to release his anger. Suddenly, his daughter Zoe appears and hands him a cake to make him calm down. Lucas then proceeds to the bathroom and brings out the pills for his medication and takes them as he looks in the mirror. Meanwhile, the mother is sitting outside, trying to get over the things that happened earlier that day. She tries to eat a piece of the cake, but immediately pukes it. Jack notices what happened to his mother, so he instantly goes outside to check on her. She seems to be unable to accept what happened. That's why Jack explains everything, call me again, but she rejects what her son said. Meanwhile, Lucas is still in the bathroom. He seems to be in a more unfit situation, even after taking his medications. He starts to make himself bleed by scratching the scar on his hands. Lucas notices a dark figure behind the curtains, so he walks toward the curtains. But instead of finding out who that mysterious figure is, he finds himself lying in the bathtub, swimming in his own blood. Even in that situation, his bloody figure blames him for what happened to Tessa. After that, Lucas goes downstairs to follow where Tessa's voice leads to. When he enters the door to the basement, he finds himself in the forest, where their family camped before, and the place where they lost everything they love in life. After entering, Lucas discerns Tessa sitting on a bench near the lake. He is in shock as he hears Tessa speak to him. Lucas cannot believe what is happening at that very moment, so he tries to run and escape. 
He hides behind a tree and decides to take a peek where Tessa is, but what he sees is the creature that took Tessa before. While trying to escape, Lucas notices a shotgun behind a tree. He picks it up and decides to shoot the unidentified creature that is haunting him. Everyone in the house panics when they hear a gunshot coming from upstairs. Jack immediately goes upstairs to find out what happened, but he only sees Lucas lying in the bathtub, swimming in his blood and looking exactly like the creature that Lucas saw before he died. At his brother's funeral, Jack talks to his uncle about Lucas. The uncle says that he and Lucas used to have some conversations about himself. He also tells Jack that if he's ever ready to talk, he can come. Meanwhile, Zoe tries to open his father's coffin to see him one last time, but what she caught sight of at that very moment is the monster that killed his father. The next day, Jack goes to see his uncle to talk about Lucas. Later, Jack talks about his mother and how her situation is worsening day by day. Jack believes that his mother's medication isn't helping her, unlike before. The next day, the family goes to the Living Springs, where it all began. They decided to spread Lucas' ashes there, because that place appears to be so memorable for them. Just when they are about to do it, Jack notices that the jar of his brother's ashes is missing. Everyone searches for the missing jar of ashes until the night overtakes. While searching, Jack sees that his mother and Zoe aren't in their seats anymore. On the other hand, the mother is still searching for Tessa together with Zoe, despite knowing that her daughter is already dead. Suddenly, the mother groans in pain. Zoe spots the old woman beside the tree and asks for help, but instead of helping, the old woman just says to follow her. Meanwhile, when Jack realizes that his mother and Zoe are missing, they decide to separate, with Jack searching and Liz staying at the camp. Liz hears a strange noise in front of the car. She slowly takes her chance to get inside the car. Liz whimpers in fear when she discerns an inhuman figure walking around the car. Jack enters a house near the lake while searching for Zoe. He finds Zoe inside with the old woman on the phone. Zoe explains that her grandmother fell, so the old woman is calling for help. Jack spots a baseball bat in a corner. It was the baseball bat they were using before, when he was playing with his siblings. Jack asks the woman how she got the bat, but the woman doesn't answer the question. This makes Jack cautious before leaving with Zoe. As they cross the bridge, Jack notices a familiar figure appearing from behind. It's the creature that's been haunting them for a long time. After seeing this, Jack orders Zoe to get in the car for safety. After that, Jack finds himself lying on the ground with the creature on top of him. He seems to be powerless in front of the creature. Just when the creature is about to devour him, Liz shoots it with a gun to save Jack. Fortunately, they escape and Jack can now bring his mother to the hospital. The next day, Jack meets his uncle to tell him about what happened last night. He explains that there is something unwanted out there. The uncle shares his realizations in life, hoping he can get it into Jack's mind and help him somehow. Later that day, Jack enters Lucas' room to check his belongings. He finds pieces of paper with Lucas' drawings and handwriting. He thinks that they might all be connected, so he tries to connect them one by one. In the other room, Zoe wakes up because her mother is calling her. She orders Zoe to tighten the knotted cloth in her arm. As scared as she is, Zoe obeys her mother and tightens the knot. After that, the figure of the creature in the woods appears behind Zoe's mother. At that exact moment, Jack completes his agenda and figures out that the drawings constitute the monstrous creature that's been hunting them. Zoe yells in fear as she witnesses her mother being pulled by the creature. Jack immediately heads upstairs to check up on Zoe as he is afraid that something might have happened. Zoe explains that the creature from the woods took her mother, pointing out to the open window. Jack realizes that Zoe isn't lying because he sees a syringe on the ground. Jack follows Zoe's request to follow her mother. Unfortunately, Jack doesn't make it on time as Zoe's mother is already a cold, lifeless body lying on her bed. After that night, Jack goes to the school again to meet Liz. He explains Lucas' toxicology report and says that there's no illegal drug intake in his body. Liz adds that there might be something more to Lucas' death, something deeper that made Lucas kill himself. After Liz's claim, Jack brings out the drawings and letters from Lucas's room. He explains that the papers symbolize only one figure, and that is the creature from the woods called Nyx. At night, Jack goes to the basement to investigate. He notices the door with slimy liquid coming out of it. Jack proceeds to the cemented corner of the basement, where they believe that there's something buried beneath it. Zoe discovers that his uncle is doing something in the basement, so she goes down and asks him what is up. But Jack wants to prove that there's nothing buried there, so he grabs the pickaxe to destroy the cemented part of the floor, only to discover a metal box that contains things from his childhood, including the videotape that they used on the camping from the past. Meanwhile, as Liz prepares to leave the school, she experiences the horror of her life again when she discerns Nyx in the dark. She witnesses Nyx as it crawls in the dark, moving towards her. Luckily, when she turns the light on, Nyx isn't there anymore. 
Back to the basement, Zoe says something that makes Jack nervous. It turns out, Zoe knows about Nyx too. This implies that Jack is not the only one who knows that it exists. Zoe says that it will haunt all of them too. Later that night, Liz comes over to the house to explain what's been happening. Jack talks about the creature appearing in the videotape that they used on the day of the incident. The two watch the videotape. Jack recalls memories that made them happy until a figure of a woman covered in blood appears. After that, Jack decides to go to the lake and find the truth himself. Jack drives through the night, determined to find the truth. He walks towards the forest, holding the camera while watching the videotape. As he walks towards where they once were, the surroundings suddenly change to the old look of the place from when they were younger, as if he was taken back again to that exact time. The surroundings shifts back to when Jack notices a figure in the woods. He recalls that his dad walks to confront that figure. It turns out the figure he saw that day is nobody else but Jack himself. After talking to Jack, the dad returns to their campsite. Jack witnesses it all, and he also notices that Tessa is going to the lake. Jack tries to shout in a very distressed manner, saying that his dad should save Tessa from the tragedy that is about to happen. Like what happened in the first scene, the father runs towards the lake to search for Tessa. Jack follows him as he holds his camera to videotape the current event. He witnesses that during that time, his father was being devoured by Nyx. But Jack cannot do anything, as this is a memory from the past. Fortunately, Liz appears out of nowhere and says that Jack should talk to the old woman living in the woods. Jack goes to the old woman's house. The old woman explains that she's the one who brought Nyx to drown it in the lake. The woman says that she has to take Nyx away from her family. But then it found Jack's family, which is the reason why it's haunting their family now. Her statements make Jack furious, so he tries to strangle the woman, but she suddenly disappears. After that, Lucas suddenly appears. He is calling Jack to play and hit some high pops. When Jack enters the door, he sees a familiar figure. It's Liz, and she is in a bloody state. Liz says that Jack should save Zoe, but when he turns his back to do that, the surroundings change again. He sees a familiar costume, one that Jack used to wear to scare Tessa. But as it uncovers its face, he's surprised to see that it is himself again. Jack runs towards the lake and sees his parents searching for Tessa in the lake. He sees how heartbroken his parents were when they lost Tessa. Suddenly, his mother gets out of the water together with Nyx. She picks up the baseball bat, as if Nyx is controlling her body. She then hits her husband's head simultaneously until it kills him. Later that night, Jack comes back home in a hurry. He goes down to the basement to see what's behind the door that was locked for a long time. When he gets there, Jack sees a small room with a bed and a doll. He's shocked to see that his mother is also there, taking care of the doll as if it was Tessa. The mother takes a seat in her rocking chair and explains to Jack what Nyx is. Nyx is a creature that lurks in underwater places, with half-human and half-fish appearance, blending with humans but copying their physical form. She then says that Jack and Lucas weren't enough, implying that Zoe is the only remaining victim left. Knowing that Jack rushes upstairs to keep Zoe safe, but Zoe is not there anymore. Suddenly, Nyx slashes Jack's abdomen, making him unconscious. When he wakes up, he sees his mother groaning in pain, as she purposely did to protect Jack. Jack witnesses how Nyx becomes one with his mother as the creature feasts on her. He says that neither Nyx nor his mother can have Zoe. Jack also adds that Nyx needed his mother as much as she needed it. She still can't get over the grief she felt the day she lost Tessa. So Nyx is the only one who makes her feel that Tessa is still there. After that, the mother orders Jack to bring her to the lake so that they can get rid of Nyx. The next day, Jack brings his mother to the lake as she's ready to sacrifice herself to save Zoe. It's hard for him to let go of his mother, but he has no other options left. Jack bids farewell to his mom as she disappears in the middle of the lake to drown and die with Nyx within her. The movie ends with Zoe, Liz, and Jack staying together under one roof in peace. But unbeknownst to them, Nyx didn't drown together with the mother. It still lurks in the lake, waiting for its next victim. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.